I have mud up my shirt, which made its way down my, my pants. But anyway. I'm leaving my camp, and I use that term very loosely. Ooh, getting hit by snow here. Um, worked on some videos, and I'm going to take a hike. Again, I wish I wore gaiters. I really did. I didn't. I, I should have worn my gaiters. But, so I'm working on a video, and... Trying to find the, the path of least resistance here, you know what I mean? And I thought, I'm actually all done. Why? I'm actually all done. And I'm going to hike over to what I would consider camp number two. Uh, not too long ago, I was talking about making uh, like a kind of a bushcraft, a camp, a location to go hang out, have fires, eat, and just work on videos. But I decided to, because it always comes down to time, you know what I mean, for me. So can you tell that I'm on a hill? All right? Yeah. You can, and uh, behind me, it drops down. But, <clears throat> sorry about that. So it always comes down to time for me, you know? And I currently don't have a lot of time. <laughs> so what I thought about doing was, because there are benefits to both camps, locations, one and two. Not the one near my house, not gonna work. I like this one a lot, but it's not perfect. It's not, there are things that it's not good for. Because the lighting is either really bad, like completely blown out and the snow just got real deep. Or if I go further into the woods, then it gets dark. Although it doesn't show it in the camera there. And then that's not great, but anyway. So what I thought about doing was just more or less keep both camps kind of do a little bit of work on both camps but not put all my time and effort into just one camp you know what the snow was kind of sliding down making me slide down so <coughs> I'm gonna head this way I've been hearing a lot of four-wheelers and snowmobiles down below but they don't come up where I'm at, and people don't hike up where I'm at. Like, almost never. Almost never, so, which is a really good reason for being up here, because if I'm up here, you're down below, you're not gonna see me. You'll never know I'm up here. So, the snow is melting, and I keep getting hit with snow. I, I kind of got to walk out into the sun here. Sorry about that. It's going to look really bad in a minute. Whoa. Woo. Much less snow right here, that's for sure. So, But it gets better when I go down in there. I love it over here. I really do. It's such a oh, beautiful place. Enjoy being here. I don't want to go. <laughs> I'm trying to stay near the edge so I don't slide down the hill in the snow. Hold on, hold on. Let's get through here. All right. So. I have to go up there, but 
See if you see down below, there's a swamp down there. And I've seen I've seen deer down there near the swamp. But now I have to head up. Go uphill. Um, again, I'm trying to find the path of least resistance. Wish, ah, wishing I wore my... That's another thing, when the ground, obviously the ground is, when it's covered in snow, it's harder to walk. But you can't see the fallen trees and sticks and stuff. But also, because it's kind of wet and sticky, it kind of helps with footing. So I don't slide down there. Here we go, I'm gonna break out into the sun. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so warm in the sun. Ooh, falling backwards for a minute there. Yeah, here we go. A lot of firewood right behind me. Wow, this is nice. This is nice up here. So, I apologize this sun, it's brutal right now and everything's white because of snow. And I'm gonna turn the camera around and hopefully it doesn't black out and take a look. I was just over there, that's where camp one is. And I walked along with you guys. A lot of car tracks in here, they're not supposed to be. If the cops come through here and they see you in here with your car, you're getting a lot of trouble. According to my conversation with the police officer, he told me that uh, you know if he catches someone in here one time, he just tells them, get out. You can come in here, you're just not supposed to come in here with cars, trucks, four wheels, ATVs, but if he catches you, slaps you on the wrist, tells you to go home, don't do it again. If he catches you a second time, you, I, I don't know, he said the second time he does something about it. I don't know whether that means arrested or just a ticket, but this is privately owned land. Oh, this is privately owned land. But uh, they do allow people to come in here and use it. But there are uh, rules, stipulations to coming here and using it. But so what I want to do is try to make it down while holding the camera. I might end up doing a butt slide down. Yeah, that's gonna be dangerous. <laughs> oh shit. I'm too lazy to stop and put the camera away. Oh well. If we do a butt slide. Actually, you know what? You know what, I'm gonna go back over that way and I'm gonna see if I can get down an area that I saw earlier when I was over here, okay? Hold on, I'm not gonna drag you all the way back on the walk over, but when I get over there, I'll turn the camera back on. I don't know if I went far, whoa. I don't know if I went far enough or too far. Something tells me I didn't go far enough. Yeah. See, I don't know if you... I want to get to that. 
I don't know if the camera can see that. I want to walk along this ridge. I want to get to that. I want to go, because this right here is too steep. I'm definitely going to take a seat and slide. I want to go over there and go down that. Right over there. So, let's go over there. This is what I want to do. I want to get down to that. I'm a few feet up. This is all muddy and falling apart. The only way to do this is jump. And then I'm going to kind of go down. Make my way through that and then I'm on the road. But my problem is I don't know what I'm jumping onto. I don't know if I'm just going to sink. I don't know if it's going to be hard and I'm just going to slide right off down to the trees, break a leg. You know what? Let me secure my cell phone. My knife. You ready? All right, well. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. It's soft. Mixture of mud and wet snow. Let's see if I got, I got. Uh-oh. Guess what, folks? I lost... I lost my knife. Oh, there it is! Uh, yeah, I got it. Whew. Oh, it's filthy. But I got it. All right. Well, I'm glad I got the knife. I didn't have to dig. Still got my axe, it's on the pack. Let me attach my, my knife again. All right. Well, For the record, pack did great. I slid on the pack for quite a bit. And uh, my SE6 actually came off my belt, but it was actually laying right next to me. And uh, I have mud up my shirt, which made its way down my, my pants. But anyway. This would have been good to have. This is a bad idea. I'm just, I'm just saying, hold on, I gotta sit. <clears throat> this is a bad idea. This is a bad <laughs> Now I know, right? I guess if I had a choice, now I'm all wet. I'm all wet and I'm all muddy. But I guess if I had a choice, hard frozen or soft wet melting the soft wet melting would have been better because if this is hard fro I would have went all the way to the bottom and could have broken something but um, that's not the case now if I'm almost near the bottom I don't like not seeing what's underneath the snow, you know? Wow. All right. Now, I'm gonna turn the camera around just near the bottom now, and I am mud all over my backside. <laughs> all right, so. This here is a little thicker than I would have liked, 
but we can get we can push through that's what I came down I've seen dare go up and down this like it was nothing and it was the middle of summertime there was no snow but seriously I've seen dare go up and down this like it was nothing so let's do this I'm just pushing my way through all this crap. Still got my knife and my axe. Ah. Almost out. Here we go. Woo. Well, that was absolutely, that was fun. I don't really appreciate having the mud down my pants, but that was fun, or all over me. Anything on my pack? Well, it wasn't hard when I jumped, but it was softer than what I would have liked. Got, I got my folder, which was in my, got the SE6, which did fall. I got my wallet. My cell phone is safely in my jacket, so. Well, note to self, don't go that way again. Now, one problem, oh, well, I have a lot of problems, but one problem I have is that because I'm blind in one eye, that my depth perception is off. It's terrible. So I can really get, I can I have a good idea on how steep something is, but I'm not very good at, well, I'm not that bad either. I'm not very good at being able to tell how far down something is. In the very beginning when I lost vision in my eye, my wife were out hiking and climbing mountains and stuff and there was some times where I went to jump off something and it was a lot further than I thought. That's a scary feeling, like when you're like, okay, I'm gonna hit and you haven't hit yet, right? And that there, I kind of miscalculated that a little bit. I think it was steeper than what I thought because when I fell, I really, I went down. I went quite a ways, but I knew it wasn't going to be hard. I didn't want to slide all the way down, like I said, but I honestly thought that it would have been not as soft and forgiving, which is probably a good thing as it was. But anyway, all right, that's it. I got a, a walk back to the car. Hopefully I can get out of the snow where I parked because it took me a little bit of time to kind of get where I was. They didn't plow or anything, but I, I do have a Subaru, so. Um, all right, that is it. I still have all my stuff with me. I hope you enjoyed uh, that little bit of a uh, adventure. Be well, everybody. Stay safe. We'll talk soon, okay? Bye.